Uh, I started college in 1997 uh, here in San Diego. I went to the officer candidate school in Quantico in 2000, and then I was commissioned in May of 2001. So uh, on the morning of September 11th, uh, I was at the basic school and we were doing a module where all of the squads break out into different rooms just because of the, the class that we were getting. Uh, and I was in the Hawkins room. Uh, for anybody that's been to the basic school, you know it is the Hawk. So no, it's the uh, the sports bar that's in the, the barracks. Now it's part of the, the, uh, the chow hall, but then it was part of the barracks that I lived in. And just because of space, all the squads were, were broken out into different rooms and we ended up in the Hawkins room. And it's a typical sports bar with the TVs and whatnot. And we were getting our class on how to write a combat order. And our SBC, who was our staff platoon commander, she had her, her back to the area where the TVs were. And we were in a horseshoe with our, you know, with our classic note-taking gear and our, our, stu our student guide. And we're getting our class. Um, in the middle of the class, we have some of the other TBS staff. They start coming into the, into the room and they're, they're behind our SBC. And they started turning on the TVs. And as they turn, they're turning on the TVs, you know, we're, we're doing this time. We're kind of like looking over like, hey, because, you know, it's a boring class. So we're looking over and we see uh, the first tower burning. The North Tower is smoking. Uh, and then one of the, the uh, lieutenants of my squad, Lieutenant Clooney, she goes, she goes something like, ma'am, I don't mean to interrupt, but, but you might want to turn around and, and see what's going on behind you. And just as Captain Bars turns around, we're watching it, we see the second plane slam right into the South Tower. And, and even to this day, I mean, I get chills thinking about it right now because that was one of those moments that we were young and we're dumb and we're motivated. But it's one of those things where we knew right away, like, this just got real. Like, we're getting a class on combat orders and we're watching this happen. And like, instinctually, we knew, we knew something was, was happening that would forever change our lives because of uh, where we were in our progression, right? We were the demographic that hit the, went to MOS school and hit the fleet right at the, right at the cusp of, of all of the OIF and OEF um, deployments when they started. And we grew up deploying and deploying and deploying. Uh, and at, when I saw the more admin, this, this especially hit home for me because uh, I, I recalled my experience, I recall recent experiences, uh, recent events that are going on. And I have a daughter that also wants to be a, a Marine, a Marine officer. And she just started her school. She's a freshman in college. And in four years time, you know, could she be going to the same countries I went to and having to deal with the same experiences I did? Uh, I still believe all that work was the right thing to do. And none of it was done in vain. Uh, like all storms, this tumultuous, these tumultuous times in the Marine Corps and in the country, like, like all storms, these two, sh these two shall pass.